Gender Bias on Wikipedia, Wikipedia Audio Gender Bias on Wikipedia refers to criticism of the online encyclopedia, and especially its English language site, that the nature and quantity of its content is biased due to the fact that a dominant majority of volunteer Wikipedia editors are male. It is among the most frequent criticisms of Wikipedia, and part of a more general criticism about systemic bias in Wikipedia. Wikipedia has fewer and less extensive articles about women or topics important to women. The Wikimedia Foundation, which runs Wikipedia, agrees with these criticisms and has made an ongoing attempt to increase female editorship of Wikipedia. The vast majority of editors are young, college-educated males, a demographic which has been described as a bunch of male geeks who are wealthy enough to afford a $2,000 laptop and a broadband connection. Surveys have indicated that between 8.5-16% of Wikipedia editors are female. Consequently, Wikipedia has been criticized by some academics and journalists for having primarily male contributors, and for having fewer and less extensive articles about women or topics important to women. The New York Times pointed out that Wikipedia's female participation rate may be in line with other public thought leadership forums. In 2009, a Wikimedia Foundation survey revealed that 6% of editors who made more than 500 edits were female, with the average male editor having twice as many edits. In the English Wikipedia and five other language editions that were studied by researchers, the ratio of articles about women to articles about men was higher than in three other databases. However, Analysis with computational linguistics concluded that the way women and men are described in articles demonstrates bias, with articles about women more likely to overuse words relating to gender and family. The researchers believe that this is a sign Wikipedia editors consider male the null gender. An editorial in The Guardian in 2014 noted that women porn stars are better covered in Wikipedia than women writers. Research Findings and Issues In 2010, United Nations University and UNU Merit jointly presented an overview of the results of a global Wikipedia survey. A January 30, 2011, New York Times article cited this Wikimedia Foundation collaboration, which indicated that fewer than 13% of contributors to Wikipedia are women. Sue Gardner, then executive director of the foundation, said that increasing diversity was about making the encyclopedia as good as it could be. Factors the article cited as possibly discouraging women from editing included the obsessive fact-loving realm, associations with the hard-driving hacker crowd, and the necessity to be open to very difficult, high-conflict people, even misogynists. In 2013, the results of the survey were challenged by Hill and Shaw using corrective estimation techniques to suggest upward corrections to the data from the survey and to recommend updates to the statistics being surveyed, giving 22.7% for adult U.S. female editors and 16.1% overall. In February 2011, the New York Times followed up with a series of opinions on the subject under the banner, Where are the women in Wikipedia? Susan C. Herring, a professor of information science and linguistics, said that she was not surprised by the Wikipedia contributors' gender gap. She said that the often contentious nature of Wikipedia article talk pages, where article content is discussed, is unappealing to many women, if not outright intimidating. Joseph M. Regal reacted similarly, saying that the combination of a culture of hacker elitism, combined with the disproportionate effect of high-conflict members on the community atmosphere, can make it unappealing. He said, 
the ideology and rhetoric of freedom and openness can then be used to suppress concerns about inappropriate or offensive speech as censorship and to rationalize low female participation as simply a matter of their personal preference and choice. Justine Castle said that although women are as knowledgeable as men, and as able to defend their point of view, it is still the case in American society that debate, contention, and vigorous defense of one's position is often still seen as a male stance, and women's use of these speech styles can call forth negative evaluations. The International Journal of Communication published research by Regal and Lauren Rue that examined the coverage, gender representation, and article length of thousands of biographical subjects on the English-language Wikipedia and the online Encyclopedia Britannica. They concluded that Wikipedia provided better coverage and longer articles in general that Wikipedia typically has more articles on women than Britannica in absolute terms, but Wikipedia articles on women were more likely to be missing than articles on men relative to Britannica. That is, Wikipedia dominated Britannica in biographical coverage, but more so when it comes to men. Similarly, one might say that Britannica is more balanced in whom it neglects to cover than Wikipedia. For both reference works, article length did not consistently differ by gender. In April 2011, the Wikimedia Foundation conducted its first semi-annual Wikipedia survey. It suggested that 9% of Wikipedia editors are women. It also reported, contrary to the perception of some, our data shows that very few women editors feel like they have been harassed, and very few feel Wikipedia is a sexualized environment. However, an October 2011 paper at the International Symposium on Wikis and Open Collaboration found evidence that suggested that Wikipedia may have a culture that may be resistant to female participation. A study published in 2014 found that there is also an Internet skills gap with regard to Wikipedia editors. The authors found that the most likely Wikipedia contributors are high-skilled men and that there is no gender gap among low-skilled editors, and concluded that the skills gap exacerbates the gender gap among editors. During 2010-14, Women made up 61% of participants of the college courses arranged by the Wiki Education Foundation program that included editing Wikipedia as part of the curriculum. Their contributions were found to shift the Wikipedia content from pop culture and STEM towards social sciences and humanities. In 2016, Wagner ETAL found linguistic gender bias manifest in family, gender, and relationship-related topics being more present in biographies about women, and in positive terms being more frequent in the biographies of men and negative terms more frequent in the biographies of women. The authors also found structural differences in terms of metadata and hyperlinks which have consequences for information-seeking activities. A 2017 study found that women participating in an experiment by editing a Wikipedia-like site tended to view other editors as male, and to view their responses as more critical than if the other editor was gender-neutral. The study concluded that Visible female editors on Wikipedia and broader encouragement of the use of constructive feedback may begin to alleviate the Wikipedia gender gap. Furthermore, the relatively high proportion of anonymous editors may exacerbate the Wikipedia gender gap, as anonymity may often be perceived as male and more critical. A study by Ford and Wachtman observed that research on the gender bias continues to frame the problem as a deficit in women. In contrast, their central argument states that infrastructure studies in feminist technoscience allows the gender analysis to be taken to a further level. It looks at three issues within the infrastructure, 
content policies, software, and the legalistic framework of operation. It suggests that progress can be made through altering that culture of knowledge production through encouraging alternate knowledge, reducing the technical barriers to editing and addressing the complexity of Wikipedia policies. Causes Several causes for this gender disparity have been suggested. A 2010 study revealed a Wikipedia female participation rate of 13% observed to be close to the 15% overall female participation rate of other public thought leadership forums. Wikipedia research fellow Sarah Stierch acknowledged that it is fairly common for Wikipedia contributors to remain gender anonymous. A perceived unwelcoming culture and tolerance of violent and abusive language are also reasons put forth for the gender gap. According to a 2013 study, another cause of the gender gap in Wikipedia is the failure to attract and retain female editors, resulting in a negative impact on Wikipedia's coverage. As well, Wikipedia, editors that publicly identify as women face harassment from other Wikipedia editors. Former Wikimedia Foundation Executive Director Sue Gardner cited nine reasons why women don't edit Wikipedia, culled from comments by female Wikipedia editors. Lam Etal suggests that there may be a culture which is non-inclusive of women on Wikipedia, which may be due to a disparity in male-to-female-centric topics represented and edited the tendency for female users to be more active in the social and community aspects of Wikipedia, an increased likelihood that edits by new female editors are reverted, and slash or that articles with high proportions of female editors are more contentious. In July 2014, the National Science Foundation announced that it would spend $200,000 to study systemic gender bias on Wikipedia. An article by Julia Adams and Hannah Bruckner that was supported by the funding was published in 2015. One concern is that articles about female subjects may be more likely to be tagged for deletion. The Wikimedia Foundation has officially held since at least 2011 when Gardner was executive director, that gender bias exists in the project. It has made some attempts to address it but Gardner has expressed frustration with the degree of success achieved. She has also noted that in the very limited leisure time women had, they tended to be more involved in social activities instead of editing Wikipedia. Women see technology more as a tool they use to accomplish tasks, rather than something fun in itself. In 2011, the foundation set a target of having 25% of its contributors identifying as female by 2015. In August 2013, Gardner said, I didn't solve it. We didn't solve it. The Wikimedia Foundation didn't solve it. The solution won't come from the Wikimedia Foundation. Writing for Slate in 2011, Heather MacDonald called Wikipedia's gender imbalance a non-problem in search of a misguided solution. MacDonald asserted, the most straightforward explanation for the differing rates of participation in Wikipedia and the one that conforms to everyday experience is that, on average, males and females have different interests and preferred ways of spending their free time. Reactions Efforts to increase female editorship In August 2014, Wikipedia co-founder Jimmy Wales announced in a BBC interview the Wikimedia Foundation's plans for doubling down on the gender content gap at Wikipedia. Wales said the foundation would be open to more outreach and more software changes. Media coverage Research and advice 
dedicated edit a thons have been organized to increase the coverage of women's topics in Wikipedia and to encourage more women to edit Wikipedia. These events are supported by the Wikimedia Foundation, which sometimes provides mentors and technology to help guide newer editors through the process. Recent edit a thons have given specific focus to topics such as Australian female neuroscientists and women in Jewish history. Visual Editor, a project funded by the Wikimedia Foundation that allows for WYSIWYG-style editing on Wikipedia, is said to be aimed in part at closing the gender gap. The Wikipedia Tea House project was launched with the goal to provide a user-friendly environment for newcomers, with the particular goal of boosting women participation in Wikipedia. An early 2015 initiative to create a women-only space for Wikipedia editors was strongly opposed by Wikipedians.